what is taboo about something that naturally happens to a woman's body or a person with a vagina? Nothing. You can't just avoid the big fat bloody elephant in the room. Hey guys, it's Sharon. Once again, I already cannot believe it is that time of the month, and yes, ladies, or just my people that bleed out there. Yes, I do mean that time of the month. So if you didn't know, if you did, I don't know, you're about to know again. Every single month, usually the last week of the month, I make videos where I expose your embarrassing period horror stories, and I use embarrassing in horror stories lightly because, I mean, there's nothing embarrassing about having a period. There's nothing horrifying about having a period because, like, periods happen, periods are part of life, yada, yada, yada. But still, we're gonna share them and make ourselves feel better about having periods and knowing that there are other people out there also struggling with periods and it is not just me or you or the other sis out there. So that being said, if you would like to see more videos like this, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok so you can have a say in my videos and you get a chance to be in them just like this one. I make these videos once a month. Gotta like a period. So if you do want to binge those, I have a whole playlist on my channel and in that playlist you can also find hacks, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. If there is a specific period video out there that I haven't made yet or you want to see a part two, part three, four, or whatever, let me know in the comments below. And of course, you can definitely subscribe for more if you want to see more. Now go grab your snacks, go grab your tea, go grab your pads, your tampons, your period underwear, whatever, and let's get into this. On our way to a cross-country meet, I had to pee and change my tampon, but our mail coach wouldn't let us stop, so some of my teammates held blankets around me while I peed in an old Dunkin' cup and then changed my tampon. We didn't know what to do with it, so we threw it out the window and it hit a car. <laughs> as funny as this is, here's what really grinds my freaking gears. There is a mail coach, and he has a bunch of girls, people with vaginas, people with periods on his team, and he refuses to stop at a bathroom. I would have taken that Dunkin' cup full of blood and been like, here you go. You didn't let me go to the bathroom, so this is what I had to do. Here, this is a gift for you. Thank you for making me have to do this in the back of a school bus. That is just so sad, but also I am so happy that the girls got the girls back. Like, they really huddled around her, hit her with a blank, and they're like, girl, do whatever you need to do. Teamwork. We love to see it. We hate to see the coach, but we love to see everything else. <laughs> Guys, do not be afraid to stand up to your teacher, your coach, whoever, and be like, you may not let me go to the restroom, but I need you to understand that if I don't go to this restroom, I will bleed everywhere and on everything, and I'll bleed on everything you love while I'm at it. And that's the tea. I never use pads or tampons, so I have to wash my bloody panties every time I get a period. My mom doesn't know this. Oh, guys, no. If you don't feel comfortable using pads or tampons, or you just don't have access to them because you're too shy to talk about your period to your mom, your dad, whoever, don't be shy because they know what periods are. Vaginas just bleed. That's a way of life. Do we love it? Not necessarily. Can we do anything about it? Not necessarily. I mean, there's birth control, but like, still, you get where I'm going with this. Now, if it's because you can't afford pads or tampons or you just ran out of pads or tampons, I'm here to tell you about a great investment and they are called reusable period products. Whether it is period underwear or menstrual disc or menstrual cups, I've even seen reusable pads. Those might seem a little bit pricey, mainly the period underwear when I'm talking about pricey, but once you think about all the money you would spend on products, it kind of adds up and it is an investment. So think about that. It's not the end of the road. I was at my besties when my period started. She was grossed out. We were both 17 and her dad had to buy me tampons. Tampons. Guess I have to change besties now. You're telling me this best friend, also a person with a vagina that bleeds, is 17 years old and still grossed out by a period? Oh, honey, I feel so bad for you. Shout out to this dad for being a real one, though, because his kid couldn't be a real one. There is nothing to be grossed out about a period. We gotta embrace it and accept it and help each other out. If you're gonna be disgusted by my period, bye. I was hanging out with my boyfriend at his house. He was teasing me a little bit and trying to get me in the mood to do it. When he took off my underwear, they were soaked with blood. He broke up with me and I had to leave his house with blood dripping everywhere. Excuse me? See, so here's the thing. <laughs> let a man dump me because I'm bleeding. You're gonna break up with me because I'm on my period. You're gonna break up with me because my body is doing a function that it has to do. My body's following the laws of nature and you're gonna dump me? Okay. So I would have gone home, I would have changed, you know, put on some pads, some tampons, change underwear, go back to his house and leave that bloody underwear in his mailbox, outside his window, in his room, whatever, wherever, on his car because you wanna be petty to can play that game. And if you get dumped by a boy because he felt uncomfortable or gross, 
grossed out by your period, guess what? He is a boy. He's not a man. You don't want to date him anyways. The trash took itself out and that's the tea. I was never told that in the beginning your periods could be weird and not last as long as they were supposed to. So two days later, I stopped bleeding on my first period and I cried for hours thinking that was my first and last period and I would never be able to have kids. And this is why it is so important to teach people about periods so this doesn't happen. So when we get our first periods, we don't think, oh my God, I'm never gonna be able to have kids again because my period is all over the place. Spoiler alert, your period is probably gonna be all over the place for the rest of your life because your period is just messy. Literally, metaphorically, physically, mentally, emotionally, she's everywhere. When I tried to use my first tampon, I couldn't find my vagina hole and I yelled to my mom crying, telling her, I think I'm a guy. Oh, baby, no, 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 no. So if you don't have a penis down there, if you don't have a, a hot dog looking thing, you're not a guy. <laughs> Unless you identify as one, then you do you, sis, you know, or you do you, bro, whatever. Everyone's a sis to me. That's not the point. Let's explain this real quick. In your downstairs area, you got three holes. You got your pee hole, you got your vagina hole, and you got your booty hole. So it's not the booty that you're sticking a tampon in, and it's not the pee hole that you're sticking in. You're sticking it in the middle hole, which is the vagina hole. Your pee and your blood comes out of a different hole, and that's where you can hold your pee in, but you can't hold your blood in. The more you know, once again, period knowledge is a very important tool to teach and have. I really needed to go to the bathroom to clean up and change stuff down there, and my male teacher wouldn't let me go even after I told him what the issue was. I got kind of mad and told him off in front of the whole class. When I was done, all the girls stood up and started clapping, and this is what we love to see, and this is what I support, and this is what I will always tell you to do, because I don't know who your teacher thinks he is. So when you start bleeding out of your penis and you can't control it, let me know, and I'll tell you you can't go to the bathroom, and let's see how you feel about it. Once again, I am mentioning this. If someone tells you you cannot go to the restroom while you're on your period, go to the restroom. My guy friend found out I was on my period, and he didn't want to be my friend anymore because I was weird. The only weird person here is the guy friend. So you think someone's weird for having their period? Oh, honey, you got a big storm coming. Wait till he finds out half the population gets their period. How does he ever expect to get a girlfriend if he, you know, if he plays for that team? How? She's just gonna clog it up, never bleed again? No. You're weird for thinking a period's weird. Who are you calling a weird weirdo? Pfft. I was at the beach and I had my period and I bled through the bottoms and a really cute boy came up to me and said I had blood on my bottoms and he smelled my butt and said, you smell like fish, first of all. How are you gonna be a whole stranger and sniffing someone else's butt? You didn't even say, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. You just went up to them, hey, you got some blood, you sniffed their butt. What is wrong with you? This kid needs some major freaking help. Aside from that, how do you know it's me that smells like fish? You're at the beach. Maybe it's the ocean that smells like fish. Thank you very much. A boy opened my period bag and yelled, who is this for in sixth grade? The only response that is the perfect response in this situation would be me. That's it. If I have a bag, I'm carrying this bag. You're asking me, who is this bag for? Did you ever think it's for me? They're my period supplies. Granted, you know, he's in sixth grade. He don't know anything. He don't know what's going on, but like still me. I bled through my pants in front of my sister and she called me out in front of my male cousins. I don't know which way to feel about this because there are two ways you can feel. The first way is think your sister is like one of the worst types of people you can be. And it is those people that also have their period and call out people on their period. Why are you trying to humiliate me for having my period when you also have a period and there is also karma? Wait till you bleed in front of people. There's that side. Or there's also the side of, well, what if your sister is just normalizing periods and not doing that to humiliate you, but to make your male cousins understand periods happen and periods are normal and it's nothing to be ashamed about. So one is really bad and one is not so bad at all. So I'm curious which one it is. <laughs> my mom got me the wrong pad size. So I had to make a makeshift pad with two of the smaller ones. I had a heavy flow and we were at church. So when I stood up, I hear the woman behind me say to her child, look at blood stains on her shorts. Isn't it gross? Then the kid laughed and I cried. Listen, I understand you are in church. It is a holy place, but without hesitation, I would probably turn around and say some really nasty things to this woman. And someone would probably have to hold me back from decking her in the face. Sorry, father, for I have sinned. I have punched a woman in the face. But with reason, how are you gonna be a grown woman and making fun of me for getting my period. At least I'm not on menopause and that's on that. And then teaching her child to also be grossed out by periods. This is the kid that grows up to think periods are weird and then can't have a girlfriend or can't have girlfriends. What's the game here? I was at my friend's house and wearing a white dress while sitting on my boyfriend's lap and started bleeding. My boyfriend dumped red wine on me. I got mad, but then he whispered in my ear and said that I had leaked on him and helped me clean up. Then when we got home, he broke up with me and told me I was gross and that he never loved me. He was just trying to hook up with my friend. Excuse me, what? This dude went out 
of his way to try and hide his girlfriend's blood stain as a good boyfriend should and then he actually dumps her because he thought the period was gross and then tells her he wanted her for the best friend what was the reason if you thought the periods were gross why did you help me clean it up like I just feel like if you're gonna dump me just dump me because you wanted my friend not dump me because I have my period because guess what my friend will also get her period so when she gets her period what are you gonna do let's think about that anyways when I first got my period I didn't tell my mom because she said periods were disgusting when I was at school I asked everyone for pads including the nurse but nobody had one I had to make a makeshift pad out of a tampon I cannot believe this mom flat out said periods are disgusting and that's on that not even try to teach her daughter who will eventually get a period about periods I don't have politely say this but mom sucks sorry not sorry don't make a makeshift pad out of a tampon if you have a tampon just use the tampon I know sometimes tampons can sound scary but they're really not that bad sure it might be a little bit confusing to get it in the first time but after that it's a breeze so don't sit there and cut up a perfectly new unused product because you're scared of it and you're trying to make a different product because then in the end you just ruined a new product that you could have used and possibly turned it into this unusable product so don't be scared of tampons tampons should be scared of you we were on a road trip to another province and I wore a pad for two days because I was scared to tell my dad it was me my dad and five brothers I know that sounds very rough being surrounded by all that testosterone and fellas that don't have periods but listen it is very very unhealthy to keep on a pad for that long and the reason I say that is because there is bacteria gathering up on that pad the longer you wear a pad the more bacteria is gathering up on there and then not only will you have to awkwardly ask your dad for pads you're gonna have to awkwardly ask your dad to take you to the gyno because now you have an infection down there don't feel awkward or embarrassed to ask a boy your dad your brothers or even to talk about your period in front of them because would you rather talk about getting a pad or going to the gyno we had gym class and we were climbing one of the walls while I was climbing I started to sweat and felt something dripping but didn't think any of it I suddenly heard someone gasp and then laughed I had leaked all over the wall I just can't help but to think the real horror story in this is climbing the wall I thought that only happened in like TV shows and movies I thought that was only like a that's so raven type of thing right there you guys are telling me you have to climb walls in PE absolutely not if I had to climb a wall in PE nope I got a doctor's note my mom says I can't climb this wall sorry not sorry and then you accidentally bleed on this wall too PE will never be fun it was my sister's wedding and I wore a white dress because I forgot I was on my period so naturally I forgot to wear a pad after I was done dancing everyone was looking at me I was a little confused so I looked down and I was standing on a pool of blood how are you gonna wear white to your sister's wedding that's the one thing you don't do you don't wear white to a wedding the only person allowed to wear white is the bride so listen if you leaked and stained that white dress I can't even feel bad because you weren't supposed to be wearing white to a wedding unless it's in your religion or something like that you know but whatever still how do you forget you have a period anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if I did not get to read your period horror story do not worry I make these once a month every single month you can also go ahead and comment them down as well now shout out of the day goes to Alishba on Instagram thank you so so much if you would like to be shout out of the day just follow me on my Instagram and stay active and like I mentioned I do have a whole playlist on my channel that is literally titled all about periods and that has all my period horror stories but also tips tricks hacks and even stuff like how to swim with a period so you can definitely go check that out lots of very binge worthy content and if there is any specific type of period video you want to see that I haven't done yet or you want to see another part to it also let me know in the comments below but of course if you want to see more definitely subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time bye